Valley. A long, long time. But I didn't go here. I went to the high school. And I'm an artist. When you think of art, what do you think of? Yeah? Creating. Creating. I love it. That's perfect. <coughs> Creating because it can be, art is a lot of different things. You can be an illustrator. You can be a dancer. You can be lots of different things, but you're creating something, and that's what I do. Um, I doodle a lot. My kids go to school with very fancy lunch bags because I can't send them to school with a blank lunch bag. That's something with artists. Everything needs to be decorated. I doodle a lot. There's, this is my doodle. But what I did was I found an artist named Matt Phelan that I really, really like. So just like you practice soccer or cheerleading or uh, some other sport or activity, I practice by finding someone I like as an artist and practicing how they draw. I can't, I can't do anything with these drawings because these are Matt Phelan's drawings. But I can use them to practice with. Yeah? Very cool. That is awesome. I spend a lot of time doodling. I have a sketchbook that I draw my characters in. I do a lot of drawing. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. There's lots of jobs that you can have as an artist. You can be a cartoonist. You can be an animator. How many of you think that everyone can be an artist? I love it. A lot of times people say, oh, I can't do art. Absolutely every one of you can be an artist. There's lots of different kinds of art, and there's lots of different ways to express yourself or to create, like he said about creating. Um, you can be a sculptor. I went to school to be an art teacher. So that was my choice to be an artist. I was going to teach. I'll answer your question in a minute, okay? I was going to, I'm going to teach, or I was going to teach. And I taught kids from your age all the way up through high school, up to when they're almost ready to go to college. Um, and then I had my own kids. So I decided to stay home with my own kids, but I couldn't stand being away from art. So I had to try to think, if I'm not going to teach art because I'm not in a school, what can I do to keep doing art? So over the years, I've done lots of different things, and each time I find something new to do, then I start something new. So I'm always, I'm always doing different things. How many of you know what a studio is? Okay, this is my studio. This top picture you can see is an actual desk with all my supplies. What does the bottom picture look like? Looks like what? Yeah, but where, where does it look like I am in the bottom picture? It's my floor. My living room floor is sometimes my studio. Sometimes if my desk gets too messy, I head to the living room floor. Sometimes if there's a show on that I want to watch, so I head to the living room. Sometimes my studio is in my car while I'm waiting for my kids to get done practicing at a rainy soccer practice. I'll sit in my car and my sketchbook goes with me. Sometimes it's in the grocery store on my grocery list. I might be thinking, oh, I have a great idea, and I'll quick sketch it down on my grocery list. How many of you know what a mural is? Did you see the mural artist yet? One of the people you're going to see today is a mural artist. I have done murals, too. Here's one of the murals I did. It's in a hallway that's about as long as this hallway out there that you just walked down. This mural took me a year and a half to finish. It's a long time. I didn't do it every day. But I did have help people if I want I wanted the blue sky on the ceiling so people painters came in and painted a blue sky for me and then I just did the birds and um, clouds and stuff so I did have a lot of help how many of you know what a logo is logo. it's a funny word you know what that is
It's a really big word. Does anybody know what it means?